Good afternoon, ladies, and welcome to Simply Stacy, where the joy of the Lord is our strength. Well, I want to talk about a topic that may touch home in a major way. It may affect you in a way that you don't want to be affected. I may be opening up a can of worms that you don't want to be opened up. But ladies, it needs to be opened up because this is a major problem for us as women. There's so many women that have went through this situation in life. And it's a big blockage, a big blockage in your life because this has happened to you. And it is rape. It is incest. So many of you women don't trust men. And you you continue to go out here and get men that make you victims. You've been abused by men physically, mentally. And it's just, it, it's a big, 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 mm, Lord, I just, I just, I feel the pain of so many of you right now. And I'm trying to express it in a way that you can understand it so that you can get your healing. Because God came to heal the brokenhearted ladies. He came to heal the brokenhearted and he, and you're still in the land of the living and he don't want you to continue to be a victim. He don't want you to continue to be a victim where you continue to make wrong choices and keep selecting men that you're not safe with. Some of you was molested by your fathers. Some of you was molested by other family members. Some of you was molested by your mother's boyfriends, your mother's, your mother's husbands and just all different types of scenarios. Some of you got married to your husbands and your husbands raped you. Whew. And God wants to heal you, ladies. He wants to heal you so you can move forward. Some of you are still stuck as that little child that got molested when you was five years old or when you was 10 years old or when you was a teenager. Some of you was molested continuously throughout your life. And you continue to select men that that, that 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 men that you put in your life that 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 you have in your life. You are still in an unsafe environment. Some of you literally hate men because of what has happened to you in your past. Some of you just use them to get what you want. You never really open yourself up to a man to love him. You're living a counterfeit life right now, married to a man. Or you're in a relationship with man and you're living a counterfeit life. You're wondering why you can't fully, completely trust this man and love this man. But it's because of what has happened to you in your past. Because of the rape. Because of the molestation. Because of the incest. Babies, God came to heal the brokenhearted. Ladies, he wants to set you free. He wants to set you free. If you have to go get counseling, get counseling. And seek God and ask him to lead you to a safe place. Someone you can communicate with and open it up. Some of you ain't even never even told your mothers. I know. I've been there. Your mother don't even know that somebody touched you in the wrong way. Nobody know. It's a deep, dark secret that you've been keeping to yourself. But God wants to heal you, ladies. He wants to heal you. Because it's even a block between you and him. You wonder why you don't feel the presence of God. Why you can't get close to God. Because that pain and that hurt is in you so bad. Some of you don't did all different types of things to cope with the pain from what happened to you. And some of you is happening to you right now. You're putting up with all kinds of abuse. You got mates in your life that are beating you. You wonder why you can't leave. You're just used to abuse. Some of you think it's normal to be abused. And this is some of the women of God. There's first ladies in churches that are being abused by their pastor husbands. It's a major thing in this earth right now. Abuse and rape. And I know you see the women, a lot of women that's out there rising up for women's living stuff. That's what's going on with a lot of them. But ladies, I'm here to tell you, because some of you, even though you're hurting, you're in pain, you don't been through what you've been through, you still honor and respect the man. You still know in God, you need that covering. But most of the men are not out here protecting and serving you and taking care of you and respecting you. But I'm here to tell you today, ladies, that God wants to heal you. And don't allow, if you don't have a man in your life, don't allow another man to come in your life that is not going to honor you or respect you. 
You want to make sure he's a safe place. And how you're going to do that is he's going to be submitted to God. He's going to love God. He's going to have the characteristics of God. He's not going to be broken because a lot of men are broken too. A lot of men been raped and molested, but I want to deal with us. Because my sisters, my sisters, I hear your cry today. This burden is in my spirit today to discuss this topic with you. Because God wants to heal you. Some of you, you don't been through some horrendous things in life. And it's not, it was not a light affliction. And some of you don't ask God, God, why? God, why? It's an enemy out here. God didn't want it to happen to you. He's not your enemy. But we are fighting against an enemy out here. The God of this world, which is the devil. And from the time we're born to the time we die, that enemy wants to inflict pain and hurt on us so that we can't be close to the true and living God. He wants you not to trust God. He wants you to walk in fear. He wants you to be in hurt and pain. It's the enemy. And some of those people that did what they did to you, it doesn't happen to them. Some of them don't even realize the hurt and pain that are inflicted on you. They was being used by the devil. But babies, and no excuse, and no excuse. But you just have to look at the reality of some of these things and why they happen. So you can get your, that's part of your deliverance. Is, is A lot of people want to know why, why, why. And because they don't get their understanding of why it happened. And why it occurred. They never can let it go and get free. But I'm telling you, the reason it happened, it was a it was a criminal, vicious, nasty thing that happened to you. It was a violation. And the enemy used that person to do it to you. The enemy used them. Because they repent to dare tomorrow, God will forgive them for their sins. And you don't want to go to hell and, 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 and walk in unforgiveness all your life. You stay a victim. You stay trapped in your emotions. Some of you have been playing that same day over and over in your mind like a tape recorder. You've been feeding it every day of your life. And that's why it has not died in you. Because what you feed going to live and what you starve going to die. Starve that demon. It's the devil steady playing it over and over in your mind so you can stay a victim. So that you can't rise up and be the mighty woman of God that God has created you to be. He wants to keep you in chains and in bondage. To that isolated incident that happened in your life. But God said he came to set the captive free. Allow him to free you, my sisters. Allow him to free you. You've been crying out. You want freedom. You want to be free from it. And some of you need to turn your plate down, fast and pray. Some things only happen through fast and prayer. That's where your deliverance lies. Get in there, get the scriptures. He came to heal the brokenhearted. He came to heal you today, babies. He came to heal you. He came to heal you. God loves you, babies. He didn't want it to happen to you. He didn't want you to be victimized. He didn't want that. Some things are generational spirits come down the line. Your mama been raped. <laughs> your grandmama been raped. Your great grandmama been raped. And it's a spirit that come down the line to try to mess with each child, each daughter in that family. A rape. And that spirit of rape is out here so bad now. I know a few years back I was steady dreaming about people trying to rape me. But I got a whole chapter in my book called Are You Told of Being Raped? Because uh, violent, vicious rape happens and molestation happens. But we be raped every day in the churches and in, in our jobs. You know, even when it comes to business transactions, people rape us because they rob and they steal from you. You're taken advantage of. That's, that's what it is. That's what rape basically summed up in a nutshell. You're taken advantage of. Your innocence is taken. And people do that every day. They take your innocence. You're innocent. You're naive to certain situations and certain things and stuff. And they take advantage of that. 
and manipulate you and use you. And that's some of the relationships that you've been in. He may not have physically raped you. He may not have physically abused you. He may not even mentally abuse you. But he used you in all types of way. He didn't really love you. He just used you. And that's abused. He took your naivety and used it for his advantage. But God, because some of you ladies, you want to be married again. You want to have a, a, a vital, strong relationship with a husband. You want it. You're crying out for it. But every time you get a man, it's like you either push him away or you choose the wrong type of man because you need to get a healing. You need to begin to value yourself. You need to begin to love yourself. You need to know your own worth. You need to know who you are in God. You need to get that broken heart healed. Knowing that there is some men out there that will love you, that will pour into you, that will protect you, that don't want to violate you. But since that's the only type of man you came in contact with, that's all you believe there is out here. But no, babies, there's some men out there that really have a heart of God, that don't want to violate you, that don't want to take from you, that don't want to hurt you. But you won't be able to see it until you get your healing. Baby, God loves you, babies. He loves you. And I ask you to deal with this stronghold in your life because it is a stronghold. You've been dealing with it for a long time now. It's a stronghold. And he wants to loose you from this stronghold in your life. He wants to loose you from it. I don't even know what to name this video because I want so many ladies. I just pray that God allows this to get in the women's uh, hands that need to hear this video. That it triggers something in you that, that wants to be healed. That gives you the desire to allow God to heal your broken heart. That you want to be whole and healthy. So many women are being abused today. Right now, some woman is getting abused right now while I'm talking to you on this video. They're either being raped, molested, or abused. And you wonder why they won't leave these situations. A lot of women got a spirit of rejection on them. So they hate to feel that rejection, that spirit of rejection. Like they don't want me, you know. It, it, let him leave. Especially if he's abusing you. Let him leave. You don't want you don't want to wind up your kids and your family members looking at you over in a casket. It's not worth it. No man, nobody is worth it. Not your life. Not your life. Because you'll be dead and gone. And he'll be moved on with the next Sarah. Sarah Jessica Ashley. He be done moved on. Shaquita. Shanene. Somebody. He had somebody else he'd be out there using. He don't already. The devil don't uh, use him for you. To come steal, kill, rob, and destroy from you. So then he sends him to somebody else to steal, kill, rob, and destroy. They are on assignment by the devil. They are on assignment by the enemy. And that's just plain and simple. A lot of people's on assignment. They're being used by the devil. There's no ifs, ands, but they're being used by the devil. And you see it in them every day. They, they, they take it from your spirit. Your spirit is drained. They're killing you. The next thing to do, all they can do is destroy you. And that's when you're in that casket. And they move on to the next victim. Or you might not be in the case, but they don't done so much to you. You just can't do nothing else. They just move on to the next person. Go steal, kill, rob, and destroy them. But baby, God loves you. He loves you. And so many of, of us has been through this thing with the rape and the molestation and the incest. And God wants to heal you from it. You're stuck because you need to deal with that one area of your life. You need to forgive. Forgive your predator. Forgive them, for they don't know what they do. They spot, they probably still like they're preying on other people. No, I don't know. Maybe they don't ask God to forgive them. I, I don't know. And they may never come back and say sorry to you. They may never admit it. Some of them are ashamed because the person they was when they probably molested you, they might was young themselves. So time they get in their forties and fifties, 
they don't evolve their whole their mindset is totally different they probably wouldn't even dare to do something like that i don't know there's some of them they just a predator till they die but just forgive them free yourself don't stay in captivity to the sins that they have committed against you forgive them forgive them because one moment in the kingdom gonna make up for all the hurt and pain and i know that might not be no resolution to some of you but that's just the truth the way that you think about a situation the way you perceive a situation that's all you can determine you can't determine somebody else's actions so right now in this moment some of you has been 10 15 20 years since that happened to you but right now in this moment your perception your emotions about the situation you forgiven or not forgiven is what is determining your outcome in your life right now so if you want to see a different outcome you want to feel different emotions just forgive if you have to go around every day and and the first thing is to say whoever it is it could be his name could be charlie or her name could be so i don't know who did it or whatever you just call that person's name out and say i forgive them and you may not feel like you're forgiving them in the beginning but you might have to say keep saying it for a while i don't know you might have to do it a year months weeks until you start really feeling it in your spirit and go in there and look at scriptures on forgiveness go in there and look at scriptures on healing because your forgiveness is not going to be so much for them it's going to be for you just forgive them just forgive them like jesus when he's on the cross he said i forgive them for they know not what they do just forgive them that's going to be the beginning of your healing forgiving them and you just got to speak it out your mouth just say it out because i know how to do it so people do something I, I said i forgive them i forgive them and just speak it out and like i said you may not feel it in the beginning of forgiveness but you continue to do it until you feel it until you really forgive them and how you gonna know if, if the person is still living and you see them you're gonna know you're not gonna feel that certain way about them they'll just be another person to you you won't feel that hurt and pain and you won't feel like oh i don't want to see them or feel some kind of nasty way you will know when you really don't forgave the person especially when they come in your presence well babies i love you this video look went a little bit longer than what i expected but i pray that this bring some deliverance to you that this brings some clarity to you i speak deliverance in your life today sister deliverance in your life today i speak a healing to your broken heart today healing to your broken heart god said he come to heal the broken heart and i speak healing to your broken heart i pray that that crack in your heart begins to mend up that you begin afresh anew that a fresh wind blows over you that you make the decision that you want to let this go and let God. Babies, I love you and so does God. Smooth to sugar, woogers. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend.